Good morning. Welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we've got Colossians 3.17. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of Jesus Christ. Give thanks to God the Father through him. So yeah, just being thankful for everything that I can do and and that. And I'm sorry, I'm all fussy. Um <clears throat> okay, so today is gonna be a little bit different. Yes, I have been working on the shawl and the um, sweater that you've seen before, but, um, I'm on vacation this week. So I have, the first thing is, is my phone gave up. I had to get a new one. Yeah. That means that I'm not as great with it. I knew how to do everything on my other phone. It's not very different, but it is different. So, um, I'm having trouble with videotape and transferring it. I managed to get it literally took me a long time and two or three different tries. Had to go buy a new cable, everything to try and get this to, to talk to each other. <clears throat> if you know me, you know that I am very set in my ways. I, I have a hard time changing things and learning, not really learning them. I just resist learning new things. <laughs> Technology-wise, okay? It's just technology-wise. I have the same setup we had out at the farm. Um, the only thing that's changed is when my laptop died, I bought a new one. I have the same camera. Um, the phone, uh, that phone was over six years old. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> All right. So the first thing I did was, um, it was Labor Day weekend and I am on vacation this week. This is Wednesday. No, Thursday. Today is Thursday. Um, having a hard time keeping those days straight. Um. This weekend, of course, I had to go do the phone. And what I found out was uh, active armor on this thing made it um, super hard to transfer the files. So I had to go to the AT&T store. took over an hour and a half. Um, I did all my running that day. So, yeah, it was, needless to say, kind of a thing. And it took up a lot of time. But I got it done. So Monday. Um, the roommate and I decided we were going to go conquer that tree that had fallen out of the pond. That did not go as planned at all. Okay. Now I got some video footage. <coughs> the video footage that I got did not turn out while we were in the actual, I had videotaped us trying to do this and, and giving y'all an update like we used to do. Now you get an after the fact video because I couldn't. I couldn't turn it around. I couldn't, when I did something, it shut it off. Um, I literally, after recording <clears throat> what I thought was a two minute clip showing everything that we'd done, I ended up with a 30 second clip of the ground. Me and technology don't always get along and you have to excuse my sinuses. They're draining today and you'll find out why here in just a little bit, but I'm going to put that video in of the tree at the, the pond. Um, and I actually took another video. There's two little clips. Um, one is down at the pond, you know, going over what we had done. <clears throat> and then the other, it shows you the three big logs that we moved and tells you a little bit about how that is going. So here's that clip. All right. So this is as far as we got with the tree. It is super heavy. The tractor couldn't drag it out. Um, we got it this far and it started over there. You can see from here that the base, we had to take out another dead tree that is over there. And then the base is right there from where it fell over. This is as far as we got it. I've still got some branches to clean up. The other tree that we did is this old dead willow over here. And I'll show you, we gotta get these cut up to throw them on that pile. But we had to take out this big guy here. We had to take this little guy out, but that was just to get it. And this is in two parts, but yeah, we had to take that one out too. This is a brush pile. We're going to get it burnt after I get everything done. Every time I think I have it cleaned up, then guess what? Something happens. So, um, yeah. Tree's still sitting there. We'll come down on another weekend, clear the branches, pull it up, take some more chunks 
and I'll show you those chunks that we moved three big chunks yesterday. I don't know how the video turned out on the other one because I was down here. Oh, I was nasty. I was in that pond up to my waist. It was gross. But, yeah. Most of it is gross because of the algae. But the algae is there because the tree fell in it. It used to be pretty clear. But, yeah. And the pond is way down right now. And it was supposed to rain, so we had to get our chunks out for wood. But I'll take you back to the house and show you the chunks. Okay, so these are the three chunks that we brought back. And they both will be cut in half. Both, all three of them will be cut in half, like this way. Then we're gonna make them into firewood. And this one is the biggest one. This one, the tractor really strained to get back here. So, yeah, we had our work cut out for us, but we got some of it done. Okay, so that was Monday that we did the tree, I think. Um, Tuesday. I cleaned up around here. I hate dusting, okay? It's one of the things that I don't like to do. So I went through Tuesday morning and dusted everything. Changed the air filter, um, which I am not doing so great at remembering to change. I write on the filter what day I put it in there. The last one I put in was February. They're three month um, filters. I didn't change it till September 1st. Yeah, that's not working. Hence why. The dust is so bad in the house. So I am trying to remember, I wrote it on the calendar thinking maybe, just maybe, if I can get it so it's cycling every three months, I'll cut a lot of the dust out of the house. But with two dogs and, you know, no rain, the dust they track in is just crazy. <coughs> Sorry, it is just sinuses and I'm about to tell you why. <coughs> um. So we did that Monday, Tuesday, did the cleaning. Then I went and had lunch with a girlfriend. And because I had to get a new phone, I got a new phone case. Uh, let me see there. It's got flowers on it. And I picked up a new crossbody um, bag. And she got a little backpack that matches it. She uses backpacks. I use crossbody. Um, you know, but it was the same pattern. And so we were laughing, saying we were twins. By the way, Ashley is... A good friend I love her to death she is challenged though um, she kind of became my friend more so and started doing things with her when Krista passed away because on the weekends I, that I would have Krista it would be boring I, I'd be so her and I started doing things last Halloween we went ice skating took her sister with her with us um, now we do lunch dates and I go see her. She just lives over in Claremore. So, um, I'll go see her. Uh, I did pick up a little bit of yarn from a local yarn shop there in Claremore. Um, not going to bother you with that, that this is not <laughs> your normal update because the next part you're going to see is <clears throat> I went to the farm and I have the tiny house down there. Everybody knows that that is where I will last days, you know, I can't live with roommate forever. Um, this house is not even roommate's house. It's roommate's mom's house. So if anything was to happen right now, I could be homeless potentially. Um, not saying that they would <coughs> do, you know, say get out right this minute, but I would need some place to go. So I'm going to go down and finish my tiny house and make that my it'll have my bed my kitchen my bathroom and the rest of it will be my fiber studio um the, it's only big enough for really a table and my spinning wheels and stuff and so i'm not going to have like a living room i have my bed to lounge on which is right there it's all in one area so um i may put a rocking chair in there i have decided that that might be a piece of furniture i need for old age, you know, I like to rock. <laughs> anyway, so I went to the farm and I have decided that three to four years is too much to leave a piece of property. But I have a ton of pictures that I took and I went out there and worked. Um, and oh, it's so overgrown and it is so bad. Um, I shouldn't have left it that long. But you know, 
I needed time to get back to being me, to clear my head. Um, RJ's father and I were not getting along at the time. It was best that I just be gone. Now that things have settled down, my little piece of property, I don't have to disturb them to get to. RJ did say that it made him uncomfortable. He's not used to anybody being out at the farm. He's used to having that place all to himself. And when him and Macy get married, you know, <clears throat> that's the way they're going to do. He's just going to have to learn to ignore me. We were there, just him and me, when his father was at work every day for literally 10 years or better. Um, because there's 10 years between his sister and I and him, she went off to college, you know, not too long after we moved there, like a year and a half. And then it was him and I for years until four years ago. His father always worked, was always gone. So he's just going to have to get used to that. And he kind of threw me off and he said that it made him feel uncomfortable. It, there's nothing I can do about that. That is my piece of land. That is my home. That is where I'm going to be. And I went back and started cleaning. So um, I'm not going to put them in right now. I'm going to put all the photos at the end. So if you don't want to sit and watch it, it's it's pretty bad. But I got I spent five hours out there. And I got, I didn't get as far as I thought I would. But then again, I hadn't anticipated the weeds being up over my head. They were huge. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I thought the weeds would die off each year. But apparently this one kind of, I call them uh, cane posts because they're hard. And they their stems actually are like wood. Um, so I've had to cut some of those down. But I got... From uh, what I call the driveway, which is a section that I literally should be able to pull my car down, but I got it kind of cleared out. There's a pile of wood that um, RJ put in there. There is a the fence, old fence that they took down, and they took the pallet wall down and refenced that for to keep cattle out of there. So they've done it in barbed wire. But I am going to rent a dumpster. For the farm and we're going to take one dumpster full of stuff away from the farm because there's not a county dump for no what a county and there's only city dumps and we don't live in the city so therefore we don't have the right to use them and uh <clears throat> there's a bunch of stuff we need to haul off um rj has not been able to keep up with it he's been spraying and the weeds are taking over. And it is a two-man job to run that farm. So he's doing the best he can with his father kind of sort of helping. <laughs> oh, sorry. Like I said, my sinuses are horrible. And it's because of the pollen. But I did get my trellis cleared off. I weeded the asparagus down. That stuff was way up over my head. So I'm hoping it will come back. If not, I will just replant because... <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was huge. Um, found a couple of the trees. I haven't found the walking onions or the mint yet. Working on that. Um, but there is stuff. One of the benches is ruined. It blew over. And, you know, we have the tornadoes and we have the wind. And, and so stuff like that is going to be hauled off. And I'm just going to start over and make it my spot instead of a spot for um, tourism. That's a big difference. Uh, but I could see the butterfly garden from over there, but I couldn't get to it. Not yet, anyway. I gotta, it's, I felt like I was in the jungle. <laughs> Wait till you see it. It's bad, but it's gonna be back to being glory. Um, I am going to take this week, I'm going back out tomorrow. Today, I plan on doing, there's a hundred mile yard sale or a hundred mile junk sale, and it's put on each year by the little antique malls that go from Coffeeville over to Independence and then down to Copan and Dewey. And then everybody just sets up garage sales on it. Now, I've never done it on Thursday first off. I've always worked. And so me and roommate's mom, roommate did not get the week off. Uh, 
phase two started at roommate's job. So yeah. Um, so roommate's mom is going to be here. She called, she was supposed to be here at eight. <laughs> she called and said, might not make it till nine. I said, that's fine. <clears throat> Give my medicine time to work. <laughs> um, but we're going to go and do the junk sale, garage sale, whatever you want to call it, just for fun. And then tomorrow I'm going to go back out to the farm. Um, this time I only took the weed eater and weed eater string, gas for the lawnmower, that kind of stuff. This time I stopped on my way home after being out there. I knew what I needed and I got loppers, shears, the big, ch -ch -ch -ch, and then I got branch loppers and then I got a little hand soft because I will need those. Um, but most of it is pulling it up by hand. I got to the house. I took a picnic lunch, but I didn't eat out there because I got hot and I was, it just was more work than I thought. So next time I'll take a snack, not a lunch. I took half a sandwich, um, that I had left over from when I went to lunch with Ashley and I took water. RJ did come down and have, <clears throat> um, I took a, uh, power aid or whatever kind of like Gatorade took one of those and he had a granola bar with me and um uh, so yeah I got to the house got it opened up um I even peed in what will be the bathroom <laughs> just saying I had to go pee <laughs> um got a path down there got to the trellis found a couple of the trees um, elderberries are taking over. I know everybody thinks they're great, but they are horrible for livestock. So yeah, they can actually be poisonous. Um, I'm going to cut back a lot of the trees. I've got my one good and it's an apple tree, but it's never really produced any fruit and it's huge. So I probably will cut it back, but that's going to be my shade tree. I'm going to have the gardens and I'll see what trees survived. The trees are over 20 years old and being left unattended and not, and I mean, weeds as tall as they are because I had topped them off and made them shorter so I could reach stuff. But yeah, I'll put in those pictures. Today we're going to the garage sale. Tomorrow I'm going back. And then I have Monday and Tuesday off as well. So, um, I think Ashley and I are going to go to the zoo on Tuesday. I don't know for sure. Just depends on what I get into. But I think Monday I'm going to go back to the farm too. Uh, it'll depend on how far I get. I want to get at least everything, the land, reclaimed. Um, and then I will start work on the tiny house. Now I do want to address one thing. And I normally don't gripe on here. But... Yesterday, I posted that I had gone back to the farm, recleaning the land, and I posted the same, some of the same pictures I'm going to post here. And automatically, I got two or three texts wanting to know what's going on. Why are you going back to the farm? Blah, blah, blah. That is my plot of land. That is my home. And just because I live with roommate doesn't mean I'm never going back to the farm. It means I lived here because it's in the benefit of all of us. And yeah, it's 30 minutes up the road, but that is my house. And that is, I'm going to finish that house. And that is where I will retire to. Um, because my circumstances here, like I said, they're not ideal at any time. If anything happens, God forbid, knock on wood, if anything happens, I have to go there and it's not done. So, yeah, I am definitely a planner and I plan for the future. It just got put on hold. It, it never stopped. It just got put on hold. Um, I love the farm. I plan on having a lifestyle there that's self-sufficient and someday that's going to happen. I'm going to be back at the farm. I just needed time to straighten my head, get me where I need to be, save some money. Um, that kind of stuff. So, you know, three and a half years, almost four years, and it is what it is. Okay. Don't read anything into it other than Christy enjoys being out at the farm. Christy will retire to the farm. Christy will live that life. 
um, I'm going to have a goat again. Okay. I miss my livestock and I'm going to breed that goat again. I'm going to have a billy and a thing and I'm only bringing the billy in for breeding. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to have goats again. I'm going to have, I don't know if I'll have goats or sheep, but I don't think I want the shearing of the sheep and I want the milk of the goat. So yeah, you can milk sheep, but still I prefer goat's milk. So because I don't want to have to share them. They will definitely be um, a milk goat. And it'll be a goat. Um, and breeder each year. And that's it. That's my whole thing. Uh, I'll have the dogs out there. I've got a ton of fence to fix. But it is what it is. And then I told RJ that I would start, you know, one pen at a time. Fixing up the pens that are out there. He's got them nice. The problem is it's a weed. And I'm going to go out there and start spraying and killing out the elderberries and the stuff. So that um, it's just, there's no grass because the weeds have taken over and it creates shade. And then there's no grass underneath. So, yeah, we will get there. And it will be back to being the farm that y'all know. It just is going to take time. And him and Macy have a plot up. They're moving a tiny house in um, on the southwest corner of the sheep. Um, pasture. Uh, so yeah, and it's just going to be cattle and horses for him, but I'm still going to help him. I'm going to bring in a dumpster. We're going to get rid of his old furniture and his old stuff. And, um, he, we actually got him a bed in there instead of that hide a couch and it's just better for him. So I'm going to be there. I'm not going to interfere with his life, but I'm going to be making my life. So we all can live there. We've all got corners. I was told them, I said, even a boxing ring has corners for a reason. And everybody can go to their corner away from everybody else. So, all right. The rest of this video is just going to be photos. You'll see how um, bad it is, how much work I got done. And I hope you all enjoy it. So I'm off of here. I'm going to go get ready to go to the garage sales. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Um, but yeah. All right. I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.